Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show, I'm Cecil Laird. I mean, Fuego here! And we are here to do an emergency trailer reaction, or at least, uh, it's one that we were both available for as it drops, which is weird because it dropped late at night this mm -hmm. time. Um, Fuego, what are we here to do a reaction for? Yeah, this is not of the typical variety when they toss this stuff out, like, supremely late, but uh, we have Dark Phoenix, X-Men, presumably the last one that is going to be released by Fox. Uh, we still don't know what's up with uh, New Mutants and stuff like that, but this will be the finality of, uh, yeah, all of those characters proper. So, duh, I don't know. It's tossing out in February, dude, so I'm very cautiously optimistic, although I love the source material, so... Yeah, I, I don't, actually. I, I don't like really? Chris Claremont's Dark Phoenix Saga. I just don't like Chris Claremont. I don't like the Shi'ar. Yeah. I don't like any of that bullshit. I, I like Dark Phoenix. I don't like the Shi'ar, and I don't like Chris Claremont. I don't know how to rectify that, but that's, that's <laughs> the case. We have talked about this before with me, now that I think about that. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh, I, I have mean... the entire Extreme X-Men that Chris Claremont wrote. I still hate it because I don't like his writing that much. And it brought know. the Shi'ar back again. Okay, um, so, so 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 was Apocalypse terrible in your estimation? Then? I, no, the movie? Yeah. No, I liked Apocalypse, actually. Okay. Um, I yeah. didn't hate it like most people up, did. So. Yeah, no, yeah. I liked both Days of Future Past. I liked all of the, the first three of this new generation of X-Men movies. I really did. I liked the uh, new first class was great. Um, mm -hmm. I, thought, uh, I thought Days of Future Past, the extended cut that had Kitty Pryde in it and everything, I thought that was great. Oh, the Rogue cut. Yeah, yeah, the Rogue, or Rogue, right, it had Rogue in it, not Kitty Pride. Um, Kitty Pride was in both versions, but yeah, no, the Rogue cut, that was a good, I really liked that. And then um, I dug Apocalypse. I thought Apocalypse himself was cheesy um, mm. and could have been way better, yeah. but the movie was still entertaining. And the par that. parts of what I loved about it were the flashes of the Dark Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So I was I was really happy to see that, quite honestly. And when she went all Firebird, I was like, hell yeah! Oh, Dark yeah. Phoenix! Like, Ooh, it was really... Hints about what was coming. Yeah, exactly. But... And, and that's the thing. We already had that promise once unfulfilled by X3 because yeah, we got the Dark that. Phoenix under the water, uh, or the Phoenix under the water of X2 at the very end, and we're like, yes, yes, Phoenix! And then the three just, just shat the bed, essentially. Yeah, I still remember sitting in theaters watching X2 with my then-girlfriend, and I was just like, oh my goodness, they are really doing this? And then, yeah, you know, change out the directors, bring in, uh, you know, somebody different, and uh, it was bad. It was bad. Very so, bad. You know. Well, yeah, I'm excited this for this trailer. What about you? What did you think of Apocalypse? Um, so I liked about two thirds of it. Very similar to my, uh, you know, Predator, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> criticisms and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I mean, visually it was good, but the the last half of the film was, or the last third of the film, I should say, it was like all green screen. It was silly. I didn't feel like Fast Thunder, and a lot of people were given their chance to really do their shizzle proper. So, I don't know. Um, I. I was sad when this got delayed. If they make it better, everything is all for the better. But, you know, only time will tell once we actually get to watch the entirety. So. Indeed. So, um, I guess without further ado, are you ready? Let's see. Very all right. curious. And Very curious. Three, two, one, go. On the way. You think you can fix me? Dreaming. You are not. Uh. Oh, he's got long hair. Uh, yeah, look at that hair. <clears throat> It's a little flashback aspect. Mm -hmm. Mine is a fragile thing. Oh, shh. The doors? Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. This is the end? Charles. I guess they're leaning into, into that. There are so many different of these, like, slowed down versions of these classic rock songs people have done. Oh, Jesus. Schmack. Wow. Damn. I love I the glass didn't like touch her. Yeah, I think you're slightly ahead of me. Oh, really? Oh. I came looking for answers. They're back to the yellow, man. Interesting. Like you don't belong here. You don't. You don't. Okay, who is that? That's that killer. That was uh, that looked like Emma Frost with the white hair. Okay, but yeah. which would make sense the rivalry with Jean. Yeah, yeah, and we got some Quicksilver flavor going. Damn, we got Magneto back. Mm. Now this one is supposed to be 90s, if I recall correctly. Oh, snap. Oh, 
Uh, she looks straight Damn, up. Damn, she's powerful. Oh, Mystique's back too. Control. She's still off that. This is sure full of trouble. Mm. I'm sorry, I didn't stop it sooner. You're always sorry, yeah. Charles. And there's always a speech. Oh, and I need a helmet. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, so this is they're gonna they're gonna diverge again. Don't do hmm. this. Oh, Nightcrawler, was that Nightcrawler in the background? Yeah, it totally was, man. Oh, yeah. snap! Yeah, they get some Nightcrawler and Beast flavor. Evil. Oh, Beast and Mystique! I'm looking at it now. The blue babies. Damn, look at those eyes! Oh, shit! Alright. Uh, the All right, Phoenix gonna, with the X. Yeah, I'm yeah. We're gonna go back, we're gonna go through, we're gonna break it down. This looks pretty dope, I gotta say. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start pausing through it here. Well, no, uh, let's play it through once, and we'll give our okay. our overall okay. thoughts. So, okay, um, so yeah, go, go ahead. Five, four, three, two, one, and we go see. Okay. So so back at the mansion, obviously, mm -hmm. and uh, we're we got some flashback flavor. He's got the long hair. Mm -hmm. Dang. <laughs> uh, well, no, the, the, before we do the breakdown, what what are your overall thoughts, and then we'll do the breakdown. I think this looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, you're excited about it. Yeah, this looks very awesome. I'm actually much more excited about this, uh, you know, in comparison with Apocalypse. <laughs> I'm worried that that this isn't oh, no. going to have enough action for people in this trailer. Honestly, in this trailer, I'm worried. There's not that much. I mean, there's a couple of. Well, yeah, honestly, you know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm watching it again. Like, it starts like off like with a car wreck, you know. Yeah, story crash and everything. Um, Damn, I don't know. They are very evidently showing that we have all of our, you know, favorite characters and all that flavor and stuff. I'm still wondering. It's got to be Emma Frost. I don't know if that's Emma Frost it's though. Gotta be. I, She's I, got straight bl platinum blonde hair. I like seeing Quicksilver, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, you know, even though he only got his little vignettes, and that was really about the extent of what they gave him. But yeah, this is one where I don't. Uh, you know, I actually haven't read the comics of. Dark Phoenix, so I don't have that source context that you were so critical of to, you know, you know, say good or bad about. But... It's funny. Is that is that is that Miles Teller as Cyclops? Who is that? So. That's not the same That's... kid that was just in Ready Player One. Is. Um, no, it's not the same kid. He just looks like massively similar. Oh sure. my god, so similar! Holy yeah. crap! Insanely, in fact. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. I, I I am on board for what we're seeing. I like that we're seeing a younger Nightcrawler. I'm I'm into the Mystique and Beast relationship because didn't they sort of hint to that earlier on with the whole um, blue bonding in one of the earlier movies, one of these last few that came out? Might have well, been. Well, they did a couple ago, but I yeah, mean, you know, I'm uh, just happy we're seeing more more Nightcrawler. Man, I love Nightcrawler. He was one of the more underutilized ones and. That he was in that uh, deleted bit in the mall in the previous Apocalypse film, and so... Oh, I didn't remember yeah. that. Is it the same actor? Same actor. Oh, or, or cool. at least it looks like. So, yeah. All right, Can't so let's... Confirm nor deny. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the beginning. Ugh, we're doing this late. It's 10.34 yeah. as we're recording this. Yeah, it's um, super late. And this was an unexpected... Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, unexpected drop. Yeah. Very late ski. So, all right, um, so we're starting off, we have the nice, beautiful um, dolly, or uh, crane shot of the of the car pulling up to the mansion. Um, so this is her, uh, Young, this is the earliest incarnation of the mansion, or one of the earliest ones we've yep. seen. Because we did see him go to collect her at one point in the earlier movie, right? Exactly, I think it was Days of Future Past, if I'm not mistaken. They're, actually, no, I think it was Apocalypse, because that's when they re-implemented Nightcrawler herself. So this would have to be a different little actress then. I'm guessing, because it can't be think, like four years later and still have the same actress play that same age. Yeah, thinking as much, but do not recall for sure. So okay, um, so of course we have, oh, excuse me, uh, Fabio Professor X here. <laughs> Loving that hair, man. Dude. Yeah, man, perfect time or perfect for the time. Mm -hmm. um, okay, and then we get the logo, the Marvel logo. I, it's nice seeing those back to back. It's still nice seeing those back to back, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, and then, yep, she's sitting And I'm there. assuming... Okay, so I'm actually wondering if that is the same actress playing Storm, maybe? Because remember, like, Storm, uh, you know, Jean, and then Nightcrawler were the three new recruits that they tossed in in Apocalypse, and 
Well, no, just... Jean was in one of the early. Jean, Jean was in first class. Jean, dude, I don't think Jean was in first class. Are you Not sure? This chick from Game of Thrones? No, no, they they brought her in for that third film. For, just for the third class. one, really? I think so, man. Are you sure? Wow. Yeah, man, my yeah, memory I could is be wrong. crap. No, you, you might not be. Um, all right, so, yeah, so, and then we flash forward to her being older, and Hank oh, is doing experiments. I am loving the crying and just, like, just split on the face, all the stuff from Fassbender and stuff. I don't know. I like when Rain is implemented in movies, and it just adds that extra emphasis and stuff. Uh, well, I'm still I'm still back doing the breakdown here, so I'm, I'm at sorry. about 20, 28 seconds here. Oh um, shit! Okay, yeah, yeah, I was just letting it play back through. So, <laughs> um, so the, she's in the car with the family, um, and this is just when something happens and the car hits the logging truck. But I do like that all she's that, she's all that CGI glass. Yeah, <laughs> all the CGI glass preventing itself from hitting her. You know, um, and then we get a little bit of Raven before turning into Mystique. So we had to get a little yeah. shot of Jennifer. Um, what's her name? <laughs> Yeah, Jennifer Lawrence hopefully not That's nailing it in as terribly as she has in the last, like, couple films of these. But, you know, we shall see. <laughs> this, uh, what is this girl's name that plays Jean? Because I, I can only think Maisie Williams, but she played the younger girl from Game of Thrones. I don't yeah, remember. I, yeah, I honestly do not know because I've never watched Game of Thrones. So She's got, like, a very wide face, doesn't she? It seems like yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah, a little bit for like body frame and yeah. You know, I'm at like 42 else. seconds. <laughs> she's got a pretty, pretty, pretty wide face. Not, yeah. I'm not saying fat, just wide. It's yeah. just her facial structure. I, I knew girls growing up that had like the round face as opposed to more the sort of slender, slender look. Now um, I paused it on this like you know with all the greenery in the background and everything, and yeah, she actually. Yeah, she looks a lot older than in the last one that we saw her in. So where where she was like having the dreams and everything. Yeah, and, that's what I was saying. Yeah. She looks, she definitely looks older <laughs> and wider. Um, but mm -hmm. just face wise, face wise. Um, well, 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 and then also remember the fact that we have the uh, evidence of all the reshoots and you know the fact that this was put on hold and delayed. Oh, and all that other I don't stuff. remember all that. Okay. Yeah, but unfortunately, so you know. Uh, God, I hope that there is, like, some synchronicity as far as everything goes, but, yeah, if she gains a little bit of weight and stuff like that. Well, I wasn't even saying, like, big, like, it's just her, her face is, you know, it's a big head. She's got a big head. Big brain, yeah. I'm sure. Um, so we see... Uh, just like yourself, sir. <laughs> so we see Emma Frost... So, okay, you're thinking this might be Storm and not Emma Frost, but it's not Storm. She's too white. It's got to be Emma Frost. Because Emma Frost and her have a rivalry for Scott, specifically. So, and Dark Phoenix does involve the Hellfire Club. So it would be the place to bring in Emma Frost. That's where she was introduced. She was one of the girl, the ladies of the Hellfire Club. Well, we do see Storm in, in the trailer, though. She's got, like, kind of a different hairstyle going down. But... Oh, yeah, there's Quicksilver. Okay. Yeah. Now, which Storm is this? Is this... This is the new Storm. Okay. This is the new Storm from the previous film, yeah. All right. Um... Yep, same same beast. I like that they brought him back for a fourth time. Yeah, that's actually I don't know if they're still uh, off uh, off film, uh, you know, item of sorts. But I know they were dating for a little while, Jennifer Lawrence and him. Oh, so. really? Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this shot of the team walking up far away, um, heading yeah. towards her. Is there three blue people, or is it me? I see Beast. I see Nightcrawler. Well, I see. Yeah, Beast, Nightcrawler, and then... Um, Mystique must be the other Mystique. one. Mystique, okay. Yeah. All right. All right, mm -hmm. that makes sense. No Angel, though. Do you see Angel? No. Nope. Okay. So they, they nixed Angel for this one. Um, yeah, and I definitely okay. see some Storm in, in this particular shot. Yeah, me too. In the background on the right. Yeah, so, so she's hanging around. Yeah. Mm. Okay. And... God, all this, all this crying stuff with Jean, though, man. I just, I can feel the emotion just emanating. She so. has a lot to be sad about. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sure. So Mystique, I don't know if those markings are the same as they used to be. Looks like they went a little. Looks like they went more with paint rather than like raised skin for Mystique this time. Mm -hmm. They're like, let's just make it easier on you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. 
Wow, okay, so Hank gets pissed or something because he's sitting here with a drink in front of him all wet. Mm. Oh, yeah. So something happened. So something must happen to Mystique then, right? Because he's with Mystique. I'm assuming as much. Uh. Ah, okay, so maybe Mystique said... Oh, look! There's a shot not long after where Mystique is in the cockpit here and, and something big explodes in front of her. I don't see anyone else in the seats behind her. Mm. So maybe she's sacrificing herself here. Because, yeah, well, Professor well, X... That would make sense. You Professor know, X, yeah, Professor X is is looking through her brain and through her eyes right and he sees all the fire around him it's because she's about to get taken away by fire so they just showed mystique's demise in the trailer that's crazy that they would do that so they're like here's how we solve the jennifer lawrence salary problem yeah and the fact that she is like just not hot on remaining with this franchise but you know they're all going to reboot it anyway once it's with marvel here in a couple years so yeah yeah, yeah. that's fine so might as well let this be the sign off so I guess... Which honestly makes me sad, because I love this incarnation of the cast. I really, really do. You know, First Class and uh, Days of Future Past solidified that for me. Yeah. Even if, you know, Apocalypse was just okay in my estimation, and this looks uh, promising. I will give it that, but... Eh. Man, look at this. Okay. Yeah. It's crazy, dude. Like, there's So there's a shot here of Cyclops walking through fire, or at least with fire behind him. Mm. Professor X is holding something off. Beast is standing up, pissed. I'm just very curious. And then the dead. Past. So, so the do you think the, the the grave is Mystique? Then let's see. Who are the X Men yeah, standing maybe, around? Maybe, maybe. I'm just really curious what the Fastbender complex is going to be in this. You know, if if he is going to be like you know helpful or if he's oh no be like mystic or whatever. Well, know? yeah, that's the weird thing. Here's the, uh, how would that he work, is, right? Because he, he started a thing with Mystique, things? right? Yeah, yeah, he's he's always kind of like you know straddled that line in this entire like prequel X series, you know, where he's been you know I don't know he has emotional connections with Xavier and stuff, and and, and they made that very evident in First Class, but ugh, I don't know, it's like he he deviates so drastically, it's crazy. So I'm just wondering if. He is like upset because you know a beast. Beast ends up with Mystique, and then you know Fastbender is is a little bit jealous. And then when Mystique sacrifices herself, he thinks there needs to be payback. And then Xavier says no, there can't be payback. And then he goes all Magneto again. Yeah, that would be my guess as to the traje trajectory of of his arc. Yeah. Cause yeah, look at this shot. He's he's all pissed again with the with the with the helmet. He's like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna take the fight to him. Oh wow, look at the fire sucking into Gene. That's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. At 150 or 151. Yeah, there is so much rain and so much crying in this trailer. I just <laughs> yeah, her eyes do look cool there. It's crazy. Yeah. Yes, indeed they do. So. Nice. Uh, she's she is the driving force. She's the naming mechanism of this. I mean, Dark Dark Phoenix, obviously. They're she placing the heavy emphasis on the X. So. <laughs> All right. So why don't you guys let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the trailer for Dark Phoenix? I know it's not exactly a horror, but you know we cover some of these comic book things. We didn't do uh, Captain Marvel because it was just a teaser trailer. Um, so we'll we'll probably do the first full trailer for it. But yeah, um, let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the trailer for Dark Phoenix. Thank you guys very much for watching. I've been Cecil Laird. Gracias, have a fuego. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared. And thanks to all our patrons. Yeah, yeah, yeah.